Hello everyone, this is Tyler here. It's February 10th and this is Socrates trading here. I'm going to give my take on why I think people should avoid stock simulators as much as possible and only use them at the very beginning stages of, of stock trading. Okay, so if anyone doesn't know what a stock simulator is, it's essentially like a stock trading platform where you can practice day trading without actually having to use real money to trade. This is a concept that's become more and more popular and well known and there's um, there's actually very well known websites and companies that have been established just for um, this practice trading. Okay, um, there's some key takeaways here that should be understood about practice trading compared to real life day trading. And th this is very essential to understand and it will also show why there's pitfalls within these practice platforms and why it's better often to actually get practice doing the real thing with smaller sums of money. Okay, the first thing is that stimulated or simulated training will often breed complacency. And this is actually one of the biggest traders or one of the biggest pitfalls of these practice platforms for novice day traders because in real life day trading, um, things are happening so quickly and one has to think on the fly and also has to be very calm about the trades that they're putting in. And a lot of these things are not taught through these practice platforms. Now, the second thing is unrealistic trades. Now, in real life day trading environments, there's often, um, there, there's bid and ask prices that can, um, that can really be difficult for a day trader, especially when they're trading micro cap stocks. And there's also problems maybe with getting an order filled for a certain price or when someone's shorting a stock there may be a very limited number of shorts available for that particular stock and often these stock simulators don't take into account these these issues and often also the simulators function kind of as a derivative platform which is often why there's like it, there's like a 15 to 20 minute late time compared to the real life stock. And this creates a very different environment to actual live day trading. It, um, and, and going back to the um, price offerings and number of stocks available to trade, this is a huge difference to real life trading where, as I've discussed prior with micro cap stocks often, when there's a large spread between the bid and ask price, th this, is a um, difficult aspect of day trading that day traders have to learn and these simulators will not teach. Now the next thing is risk strategies. Often um, risk strategies are something that more experienced day traders are more comfortable and willing to take on and this could be momentum trading, it could be shorting, it could be leverage buying, all these tactics often aren't really taught through because you're, you don't have actual capital on the line and um, it, it, the simulator actually may foster excessive risk um, excessive risk taking when um, in, in forming trading habits that aren't like the real world. Now the fourth thing is that the psychology of investing is not taken into account whatsoever. And the investor psychology is one of the core tenets of good day trading. It's so important to understand how to day trade. And, and this the psychological part is often the most important and difficult aspect of day trading to learn. And it's not learned because hard cash isn't on the line. One of the fundamentals Thanks for day trading success is cutting losses and letting winners run. And often these platforms don't teach as well. And 
the, the temptation to take profits in the real world is often so high and to to let losses run longer and these are two fundamental areas that stock simulators often don't teach now these are the main issues with uh, stock simulators for people that are under 18 in their teens i think that it, it's an excellent thing to to practice on but as someone gets older the amount of time they should spend on these simulators is, is less and really you, you should use small sums of money and do the real thing that that's the best way to learn in and, and to become a better trader